and this is news you can use. Uh, only going to focus on one thing today. It's an article that came out in Market Watch yesterday, and it says Fannie Mae forecasts U.S. economy to fall into a recession next year. Uh, when you dig into the article and read a little bit more, and this is a subscription article, and I don't have access to all of it for some reason. I, I should, but uh, it, it goes on to delineate exactly what's going to happen in the housing market from the federal government's uh, standpoint. Now, they also nod a hat towards the Federal Reserve and some studies that they expect uh, to come through in the housing market. They're now looking at a drop of 7.4% this year. Now, keep in mind, Zillow, uh, which is, in my opinion, on the end of the crazy zone, is talking about a 22% increase this year. Finally, the federal government is saying 7.4% drop this year. Uh, and a further 9.7% drop in 2023. So uh, you've got people all over the board. That's like a 30-point swing from a 22% gain to a, an almost an 8% this year. And then next year from a 16% gain to a 10% loss. So th this is crazy. Uh, you've got people that are guessing all over the place. Uh, my guess is the market will be down. Uh, through the remainder of the year. And by down, I mean less units sold and uh, prices lower. And that's what the government's talking about as well. A uh, combination of less units and uh, lower prices, because it, which is counterintuitive. Once again, this goes back to the stagflation deal that we talked about. And by the way, if you haven't seen that on a previous news you can use, there's two of them. Uh, stagflation one, stagflation two. You should really talk, uh, take a look at that. It's on our News You Can Use uh, by Jeffrey Kimmer on YouTube. So go on in there, take a look at that, like it, subscribe, et cetera, and you can get these playbacks all the time. But uh, right now, we are having, a, a, you know, it's, it's a toss-up ball out there in terms of what people are saying. We're hearing from the front lines uh, from multiple offers in a very few spots anymore uh, to a lot of no offers at all on some houses that are considered overpriced, especially in the starter neighborhoods uh, where people can no longer afford them because interest rates are north of 5% right now. So anyway, that's the, the latest news you can use. I'll probably have a little more information tomorrow and tomorrow's news you can use. And we will uh, talk about that a little bit more in depth, but uh, hot breaking news, government's forecasting a 8% drop in the market this year, the housing market. All right, that's our news you can use for today, short version. I'll toss it over to Ashley. Thanks, Jeff. All right. So what questions can we help with, everybody? If you guys have questions about your leads, your deals, training processes, whatever you have going on, go ahead and hit the raise the hand button or type in chat and we'll get you unmuted and help you out. What can we help with today, guys? Oh, I'm sure there's some questions. One, one thing I do want to mention also, uh, if, you, if you weren't on yesterday's call, I would recommend going and grabbing the, the news you can use because we discussed the, what I consider to be the number one thing going on in the market right now uh, in terms of where you're, you're going to have your best bang for your buck out there. Uh, and it's basically in the subject to market, the sub two market right now. Um, and, and how this current market position we're in, even though the bad news I just talked about, is, is actually a great place to be in. It's like probably the best time I've ever seen. And I lived through 2006, which up to now was the greatest because everything we did in 2006 for a nine month period of time, we were able to make $100,000 on every house. Um, we're in that kind of market right now. Uh, um, think of it as a roller coaster going up to the top. And when it gets to the top, some of the roller coaster is down, is already heading down, but some of it is still going up and some of it's flat and you can't see beyond the horizon. So these guys here can't see that the market's going down. These people see it going down, can't see that there's still people coming up and the people who are flat on top have no idea what's going on. And that's the market we're in. That's where there's money to be made. The transitional markets are where you can make a ton of money. And so I would encourage you to really work your, your uh, transactional engineering game to focus on things like uh, subject to seller finance, that type of thing. Uh, Brandy picked up one uh, yesterday uh, that was uh, phenomenal. And once we get it completely signed, 
Um, she'll talk about that in detail, but it was one of these situations where there's over 100,000 equity and there is up to $900 a month cash flow, no money out of pocket, 100% principal pay down on the payment that we're making the underlying mortgage on. So assuming we get that thing signed up, these are the kinds of things that you guys need to be looking for out there. Keep your eyes and ears open.